Good afternoon, everyone. This is Carl F. Rose recording live from Bedford, Pennsylvania on Wednesday, March 14th, 2018. And today we're going to talk about the Easy Video Maker interface, just, just the basic uh, setup. And we're going to do that right after this. Good afternoon, this is Carl F. Rose recording live from Bedford, Pennsylvania, and um, I'm just going to do a brief overview of the interface of Easy Video Maker. Now, before I get started on that, um, I've got my mouse hovering there on, on the render. I have the upgraded version, and the reason being is I spent a year on the, on the free version kind of getting used to all the all the things we're not going to do the entire thing because that's going to take too long but i'm going to show you the basic things but the the main thing is is rendering on the free version you cannot render into hd the the, the biggest file you can do is i i believe it's like 480 i tried to uh, uh render something i didn't even bother uploading it to uh to youtube because the quality was so bad uh, it's the upgrade is, is only a one-time upgrade it's 50 bucks and the reason I use easy video maker even though I have DaVinci and hit film both installed on my machine as well is there's a problem with when I'm rendering with either DaVinci Resolve or hit film depending on the things I'm doing it it's just my computer I don't have the sophisticated enough machine to handle the rendering process. I mean, uh, both DaVinci and HitFilm, they're both uh, CPU hogs, and uh, Easy Video Maker is not as bad, although you can do a lot of stuff. So with all that said, let me get into this. This is going to be a quick video, uh, quick video, but I just want to get down, run down the basics here on this. Uh, first of all, here you go. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things here. Here's this plus plus sign, uh, button here. This is where you add your video. I'm just going to put in a couple of samples and show you how to to uh, do transitions and and that sort of thing. And as you can see, the scroll down here, you can add video, add audio add image, add icon. There's a lot of things you can do on here. And here's your, um, this is the, the uh, this is where things are downloaded into. And here is actually your, your uh, timeline, your work frame. As you see, the, you got the background, the video line, overlays. Uh, you, you can go up to overlay, five different overlays. Actually, no, let me scroll down here. You can have 11 different overlays. Uh, then you got audios. You got you can have uh, three different uh, layers of, of, of uh, audios. I mean, for different sections in there. And then you got your text. Uh, then you got your text uh, line. Then you got your subtitle if you want to do that. Then you got uh, graffiti. It's kind of a special effect kind of thing so uh, just to get you an um, overview of that so let's uh, start with that let's just uh, let's just go over here oh not only that you can also uh, record uh, you can uh, you won't be able to do any like OBS you don't have your little face or anything like that but you can do uh, recording from this as well um, again if you want to do that you really want to uh, have the upgraded version but I would strongly suggest uh, doing what I did use the free version and get familiar with the tools for a year and um, but anyway uh, let's get on with it there's there's here's where you add all your stuff here's the, the video uh, image audio transition effects um, well, I'll click on the button. Okay, there's video. There's your down there. Let me click on there. Um, there's your different transition effects, uh, uh, links. That's uh, 
and sample stuff. I I only use YouTube uh, music. There's uh, various icons you can put in. You got your arrows, smiley faces, uh, things you can do, um, which is kind of cool. Um, and this is the 3D template. I will get into 3D template uh, on another video. We're just going to talk about 2D. There's your color adjustment, uh, various color adjustments. Uh, here, there, and then here's where you uh, you do your credits. Like if you're uh, if you're using something and you have to put the credits in your uh, description, uh, you're gonna want to do that so you don't get a copyright strike. I I just go safe. I just use music uh, and stuff uh, that's uh, from the free YouTube library. Uh, that's just convenient. And as far as images, they're all my own, and I have them copyrighted anyway. Uh, and there's particle effects. These are really cool effects here. Uh, and then you got different shapes. And, Blobs and things like that. Yeah, little bubbles, if you want to uh, put in there, uh, that, and then put like little text in between these. See, so you got there, uh, and then you got uh, there's your trademark, and there's a copyright symbol, so you can put all that in there. Uh, and then uh, audio mixer, I really haven't done any there. Uh, and then the VU meter, I really haven't done that. And the fonts, the fonts are um, got all kinds of things you can do with the fonts. Um, okay, let me just um, get into this a little more. Let's do a couple of samples here, and um, then I'll wind down. Um, okay, let's uh, put in just a couple of little video clips. Uh, oops, let me click up in here. Uh, let's add a video. Uh, let's see here. Um, this is what I'm currently working on right now. So um, let's just go into, okay, let's go into my videos. Um, just do a, let's just open up one of these. Okay, and then just open another one. And uh, see, and then the, you add it there, and then, and then you, show you how to uh, add, let's just add another one here just so I can show you how to do uh, okay we've got two here okay here they're they're added I'm not gonna uh, okay and basically if you go here to image um, you can add you can add image you click on here and you can add images and stuff like that uh, to your video I'm just basically going to show you these two clips I can put them in the workflow and I'm going to show you uh, or into the um, work area workspace uh, timeline um, and I'll show you how you can do things and it's pretty easy uh, but anyway yeah there's where you add your image and um, we won't worry about that. We won't worry about adding audio. Uh, but uh, let's go back to video here, and I'll show you how to add a okay, right-click here, then it adds, add a video, video line there. It drops down there. Let's click on this one. Right-click, add a video line. Okay. Now uh, let's scroll on the bottom all the way over. Now let's highlight that. You left click that and that highlight now you right click on this video clip and here see you got you can you can cut you can cut part of your video and you can split part of your video um, we'll I'll talk about that in a different video um, but uh, when you right click on the, the highlighted section it gives you all kinds of things you can crop it you can add borders you can rotate it um, but let's just talk about transition effect, and then I'll show you how to that. So when you go to add transition effect, you have lots of different transitions. Um, let's just go with one here. Let's go there, and then um, just this. I'm just going the long way, the hard way here. Scroll on the bottom, and you'll see where. Oops. And the transition effect will show at the end of the one that you highlighted. Okay, oops, there we go. Uh, there it is. Now, on this, on the transition effect, uh, you can actually add another one if you want. But then you want, what, what I'm talking about is you can set the duration. 
uh, it's the default is one second. I usually like to go four, but depends, either four or two, depending on uh, when I'm dealing with my intros or my outros, uh, going from the clip to the video to the outro, it's only like two seconds. Uh, but from uh, if I have uh, transitions within the video itself, I like to have a, a, a four second transition. So uh, you just go in there, hit delete, backspace over, hit there. Oops, let me go to four. It'll show better. Let's go to four. Uh, four. What do I usually do? Then you put in the four, and then so then see there you go, um, uh, and, and that gives you your transition effect. Um, now uh, let's just uh, let's go. Let's just go with something else here. Let's let's add a um, oh. Yeah, let me let me do this. Um, let's show. Let's go back into uh, the video itself. Uh, you can do color adjustment, and then you, you again you right click on the thing, and you can adjust the color. And um, as you can see, see there you got your brightness and contrast. You can uh, uh, adjust that. Um, you can colorize it. You can sharpen it, soften it, uh, you can add saturation, you can add jitter. Um, there are so many things you can do with this and then once you get all your settings going you click OK and it gets set on there. I'm not going to uh, be messing with anything like that. But um, OK that's uh, with uh, that. So now uh, yeah I'll go into text. Um, I won't do anything. Um, and as you can see, I did particle effects on that particular video, uh, on this particular video. But uh, let's go into uh, oh, let's let's go into uh, uh, yeah, let's let's put a smiley face on here, happy smiley face. You go to that um, and um, add selected to. Uh, I like to do it as on an overlay line that way because I can. Okay, let's go to overlay zero. We got that there. And let's move this down. We don't want this in the beginning. So we can move um, out before we do that. You can see that it's uh, only, it's almost three seconds long. So that's pretty good for a, um, an image. So let's uh, move this to, let's say about, uh, oh, I think this is about a three or four minute video. So let's go with it two minutes. See where it pops up. Hit delete. Back over here. Go with two minutes and you know, 15 seconds, and see where it ends up. Okay, two minutes and 15. Hit OK. See, and then it pops up there. Then when you got in there, then you can adjust it. You can either, if you want to make a big, you can make a big giant smiley face, or you can make a uh, little smiley face. Um, let me try something. I haven't tried this. With, uh, yeah, okay, you can. Okay, uh, you can adjust the transparency. You can have it, let's go to 40%, and then, see, there you go. Then you have a, you have a kind of a hidden smiley face there. Um, there are so many things you can do with this. Uh, let me see. And that's why I'm going to do a, a series of these, because I'm going to go over more of these in detail. Um, but I'm just going over the basic interface here. Um, now, let me go into settings here. And um, here's what I have. I have it 1280 at 720 just because it works out better. Um, uh, format MP4, um, then the quality, then the, the frame rate. I have it 30. 3D smoothing, yes, I've got that checked because I'm doing going to be doing more 3D stuff. Um, audio rate. Uh, then I have rendering. Um, okay, rendering buffer small. Okay, let's just go to here. Uh, yeah, I do small just because of my computer. Uh, but if you do. Uh, Rendering buffer normal. Uh, 
or if you do large, you really need a better, either the normal or the large, you really need a better machine. So I just keep it at small, just uh, it speeds up the rendering time. It doesn't take up much CPU speed. That's what I like about it. That's what I was getting at. Um, okay, let's go out there. Now let's go into... Yeah, that's the settings. Got the settings like that. Then you click render, but I'm not going to click render because I don't want to render this right now. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, I wanted to get into that. Uh, so that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to get over some of these basic ones. And, he, and here you go. Last thing here. Here's the, the, I'm in the 2D. This is the 3D tab, and um, and you can do it camera angles and all kinds of stuff and uh, I will get into 3d specifics at a at a at a later date that will come to I'm gonna do all these other stuff first in, um, in increments but I just wanted to let you know um, just give you an idea on how this is and it's so easy to use it's uh, I mean I'm still learning I mean um, I hit my snags on this um, but it go, things go a lot smoother for me on this than they do with either DaVinci or HitFilm, but I still want to work with those other two um, because uh, HitFilm has 3D as well, and I want to learn, I want to be able to learn the 3D on this, which I, I'm pretty comfortable with, but I want to also learn the 3D and, and HitFilm, which I haven't done yet. Um, eventually I will get there. Um, but that's it. That's all I wanted to get. I just wanted to give a basic uh, uh, description of the overlay of the actually, uh, excuse me, the interface itself, uh, settings, rendering, and that sort of thing. And um, to also to mention that if you're going to be uploading, you're going to need to to get the uh, upgraded version of this. Free is good to to run it for a while, but um, if you're going to be using this and then you're going to be pro uploading to uh, YouTube, you're going to want the uh, want the uh, upgraded version of one time, uh, lifetime, $50 free um, charge, $1, $50 charge. Um, it's the best investment I've made. I, I I know there are some other editors out there that's a one time charge and I, I, I wasn't aware of that before I got this, but I kind of set on this one. So anyway, that's it. Um, we will talk to you later, and um, uh, I will not be live streaming Saturday. I'm doing a, 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 a different kind of recording uh, Saturday afternoon that I'll be uh, uploading uh, later on Saturday and probably doing all my editing Sunday, and hopefully sun my Saturday video will be uh, posted on Sunday. Um, that's going to be a 360 video, and, and uh, I'll just keep that a, a, a secret. But Again, if you like these videos, please be sure to, to, to check the uh, uh, subscribe link in the description below. Plus, I have links to all my stores, TubeBuddy, uh, many other things in there. Plus, I'm adding cards, so be sure to check those out. And then my end screens, and um, uh, you, know, you know the drill. So um, anyway, uh, I will talk to you later, and have a good day.